Hello everyone, Bob O here. Thank you for watching this video. It is the first in a short series of videos that will help guide you through the setup procedure for the Spartan Vortex VX1 flywheelers controller. So instead of just quitting here and jumping right into setup, um, I'd like to offer a brief introduction into the Vortex and pass along some general information that I feel would be helpful for you to know prior to getting into setup. First of all, these videos, they are not intended to be a substitute for any of the documentation that came with your Vortex, namely the user guide and the setup and first flight guide. Those two documents should be your primary reference as to anything involving setting up of your Vortex from installation of the Vortex onto your model, um, receiver connections, um, depending upon what kind of radio system you're using, uh, transmitter preparation, um, and powering up your Vortex. Uh, for instance, there's some safety precautions there. Um, the Vortex is only designed to accept a power lead on one side. Um, refer to the setup um, and user guide to see which side that is. So definitely go through those documents carefully once or twice and uh, make sure you take note of the precautions uh, and the preparations that you need to take. The videos are only meant to help you along through setup, help you get through it smoothly and quickly so that you'll have a better understanding of what each setup step involved. And as you go through each step and um, get through uh, the various segments of setup and when you're finally at the end, you'll have confidence in knowing that you performed the setup procedure correctly. So who are these videos for? <clears throat> Well, they're for anyone who has not yet set up a Vortex at all on any model, whether you're setting it up on a small electric or a bigger one, or a Nitro Bird. The setup procedure is all the same. So chances are um, the information contained in these videos will pertain to you. Um, thanks for bearing with me so far here. Just a couple more minutes as uh, we talk about the data pod. You need this data pod in order to do any of the setup on your Vortex. You cannot do setup or um, updating or fine tuning of the Vortex without it. Chances are you have this with you already because you ordered it at the same time as you ordered your Vortex. So uh, that being the case, let's talk real quick about the transmitter. Instead of getting into detail about uh, transmitter preparation, um, I will just talk briefly as to uh, what I think you should do. Um, I think you should start with a fresh model in your transmitter. This way you can be assured that uh, everything is reset to default. And usually when you do that, what it results in is sub-trims are reset to zero. Uh, any trims on any channels are erased. Um, this way you don't have any trim on any channel in any of the flight modes. Um, your endpoints are probably reset to 100%. Um, your dual rates are set to 100% probably. And throttle and pitch curves uh, will be set to linear most likely where you have 0% um, at bottom stick and 100% at top stick. Um, that's what we want for setup. A couple more things. Uh, your swash type. Make sure you set that for single servo, not three servos or anything like that. Um, the Vortex will do the mixing, so make sure you set your swash type for single servo. And one last thing about transmitter preparation, and I will include a link in the description for this video for uh, SpartanRC.com. The knowledge base topic 138 is what you'll be looking at. There is a um, tutorial there on how to set up your radio, um, different brands of radios, um, for um, using the flight mode switch or the Vortex. I'll also link a video by Angelus of Spartan RC. He explains exactly what's going on there. So um, without getting into that, um, I will just tell you that basically you want your uh, radio to be set up so the transmitter um, flight mode switch um, is connected to your gyro or governor menu or some other channel that you can use for that purpose. So when you toggle the flight mode switch on your transmitter, it will put the vortex into the corresponding flight modes. So um, that's basically it. Um, I hope you'll watch these videos a couple of times um, before you actually get into setup. It will help things go uh, quickly and smoothly for you. And um, 
In the next video, we will cover receiver setup. And so get everything all situated on your model. The um, Vortex installed there, uh, receiver connections all made, power source ready, uh, your transmitters all prepared. And I will see you in video number two.